afternoon and welcome to another Project Bimmer video, my 1995 BMW 318. And in this video we've got MOT work to do. So it went in for the MOT and unfortunately it's failed. Uh, I'll just show you what it failed on. You might want to pause the video for that. So these are the jobs we're going to concentrate on. We'll see if we can get some of these advisories sorted as well. Now uh, something I did actually off camera was I've sorted out the stop lamps. I've sorted them. So they've been both sorted out and they're working perfectly and I also did that advisory because uh, the rear lights on these, the E36, the tail light, there's two bulbs on each side and one bulb on one side won't work and so that's all been sorted out so we've, crossed, uh, we've got three jobs done so out of eight, so three out of eight. And uh, What I'm aiming to do in this video is to replace the rear wheel bearing, there we go. I don't care, this, this is a job I did last year. I think it's something like part four or part five, because uh, one side was harder than the other. Fortunately, the one that's failed is the easy side, and it'll also deal with that advisory. And I'm also going to uh, replace the front brake pads. Uh, I've got the parts here. I've got my wheel bearing. I've got that front GSF car parts instead. I thought I'd pay a bit more than I did last time. Hopefully, get something a bit better. And uh, I've got these Eicher. If I pronounce it right brake pads from Euro Car Parts. Now I can put uh, links in the description for the for these two parts. And going over to the car, and if you can see well in this light, I've already got the the wheel off and the drum off. Uh, I've got all my tools I need. My bearing tool and my slide hammer. And yes, I've got axle stand on, but I've got a jack under as well for a bit of a extra safety. And all I need to do is take the drive shaft out, and that should come out quite easily. I think it's um, a triple square bolts, bolt on to flange on diff. So once that's unbolted, this should just come out. And that says this is the easy side. The other side was uh, was on where the uh, the drive shaft spline was stuck in the hub, but this should be fairly straightforward. It, it was easy enough to do last time. I'm going to do this off camera so because you've seen it, like I said, it's on a previous video. And I'll come back to you when I'm ready to do the brake pads. Okay, so that's the rear wheel bearing done. Now onto the front brake pads. And I've had a look and they are a bit thin. So I might as well change them. There's a little bit, there's a bit of a lip on the disc, but we won't, we won't change the disc on this pad change. We'll do it next time. Pads need changing, so. Got these off, um, now it looks like his caps here, and it's probably the 7mm Allen, which I've got here. Yep. So I'm going break these free. Cut that one off. I'm using me, me Alfred's tools. I actually bought the uh, quarter inch drive modular tracer, but you'll see that in the next toolbox tool video because this is going to be going out the day after I make this. And today is the uh, 7th of December. And it'll, and it'll be the 8th when this video goes out. That's the plan, anyway. So get these. Bolts out. So, yeah, I do use my tools in anger, so to speak. So, just pull these out. That's them, that's the bolts. We'll give them a clean and we'll grease them up. I'm going to use lithium grease. So, I'll pull them out and we should be able to get the caliper off. I 
that's the other one out. So, give the screwdriver and we'll prise this caliper off. Else you should do. So pop the bonnet. Is to open the brake fluid fluid reservoir. It allow the the level to go up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pry to push this piston in. You just leave it against the pads. That's what make it easier. Get the caliper out. See, you can push the piston in easy. So. This should just come out. And there's also a clip on this side. This one's deciding to fight me, so I need some more some of the tools. Try some pliers. There we go. That's the clip off. Put the light back on. See if we can uh, leave this caliper off. There we go. It's coming off now. And that's the caliper off. Should really be supporting it, but I'll just rest it on, on top of the disc. Uh, we'll just get this pad out, and you can see there's a bit left on it, but. It's a bit, it's wearing a bit shiny as well. So just pull this other one off. It just clips. It, this one, this inner one, it just clips, clips into piss. And you can see, that's if I put them side by side, they're, they're wearing pretty evenly. So nothing uh, seriously wrong with this, with the brakes. So what I'm going to do is push the piston in, and then we'll get new brakes fitted or new pads fitted. Now before I do anything else, I'll just give this all a bit of a clean up, clean up the caliper carrier. Just, it's not mean much actually, just a quick blast. And we're going to break clean it. Break clear, but I'll use the carburetor cleaner. Just give it all a good clean. Just cut the blast. And give it a wipe down. Just use kitchen towel. It's cheap enough in your local supermarket. And then I clean the pins as well. Give them a clean. <coughs> so, quick plastic carburetor cleaner. One. And that 
That's the toast key. And it's just all the copper grease that were on there before from the, from the last time they were done. Let's give them a green. A bit of a rusty at the bottom, but oh no. Well, that's ready for when we put everything back. So these are the pads you saw them earlier on, 13 quid from Euro Car Parts. And just get the new new pads and put, put them next to all of them. So you've got your new ones. And put the new ones and the old ones together. And you can see, now well you can see that. You can see the difference. A lot more meat on these. So we'll get these fitted first. A dab of copper grease. I'm gonna use a mixture of copper grease and lithium grease and use copper grease on the on the pads. And then lithium grease on the pins. And the trick really is not to use too much. Just just a a smearing. Maybe do don't get them on the uh, on the friction surfaces. So that's one in. Get the other one in. And do the uh, caliper where comes into contact with the pads. Now, if I've done this right, it should just slide in. There we go, simples. Then fit the caliper back on. Now with these bolts, I'm going to use lithium grease. There we go, get some your normal, your normal grease. Give it a nice coating and that will help a, a caliper to, to slide in and out easily. And you won't get sticking brakes. Then just a matter of uh, doing it all up. It shouldn't have done. Okay, let's try again. I have to get the, get the torch on here so I can see what it is I'm doing. I think I've got one located in. Yep, that's the top one. Just get that started and get the bottom one started. I just felt that go in, felt the thread catch, right, so they're both started, get these both tightened up. Uh. 
Then refit the caps, whatever I did with them. There we go. And the last thing we need to do is get this clip off. And that's the uh, brake pads changed. It's going to be the same story on the other side. So I'm not going to do it twice, but first thing you need to do is when you finish a brake pad job, just get straight into the steering. Always press your brake pedal. That allows the, uh, the piston to caliper to expand again, then you have no brakes when you set off. So I'll get the other side done and come back to you when we all finished. So that's it for this video, it was pretty much the same story on that side, except there was a brake pad wire sensor wire, so just prise it out, it wasn't too difficult. Hope you enjoyed this one, and I'll let you know the outcome of the retest. I'm going to get the garage to do the work on the on the brake pipe, find that out, and it's done. Yeah. He uses Cunifer, so he's good that way, and it'll, it's literally fit and forget. Anyway, please remember to like, subscribe, share, comment, and don't forget to click that bell for notifications. As ever, thanks for watching, and I'll see you there.